I asked Google Gemini's Nano Banana Pro to design my next thumbnail. The results are way better than I expected in some places. Today, we are inside Hicksfield testing it for real creators. While it is usable within Google, they watermark the image unless the user is an ultra subscriber. For heavy users such as video editors and marketers, they have to remove the watermark or zoom so that's not the case on Hicksfield. Now let me tell you, Nano Banana Pro is the name Google DeepMind uses for the Gemini 3 Pro image model. It is designed for studio level precision and control, not just fun filters. This model focuses on clear text and posters and diagrams, precise control over style and composition, and the use of real world knowledge so things like cities, eras, and technical scenes look correct. On Hicksfield, it becomes Nano Banana Pro inside their image tab. If you're brand new to Hicksfield, do not worry. I will walk through this step by step and you can follow along in real time. Go to the top navigation and hover over the image tab. You'll see the full lineup of models, but the one we want is right here, Nano Banana Pro. Click that and you are in the cockpit. The first thing you'll notice, stop wasting time typing image ratios in your prompt. Just click the ratio box right here, landscape, portrait, square, it's one click. Next, check the resolution. You have native 1K, 2K, and 4K options. Pro tip, keep it on 1K while you are testing prompts. It is blazing fast. Once you nail the look, then crank it up to 4K for the final studio export. Now, this is the money saver. See this unlimited toggle? Flip that on. As long as this is active, you are burning zero credits. You can stress test the model, fail and retry 100 times without costing you a cent. And here is a massive unlock unique to Hicksfield. The original Nano Banana model usually caps you at six image references. Hicksfield pushed that limit up to nine. That is 50% more context for your character sheets, style guides, and product shots. Okay, let's test text. Usually, this is where models fall apart, giving us blurry, gibberish text. But Nano Banana Pro claims to fix broken text entirely. Let's see if that's true. I am pasting this prompt in the prompt box and hitting Generate. Make eight sophisticated, minimalistic logos. Each is a fun food word and make letters from realistic food to express the meaning of this word. Composition, a rendering of all logos on a single solid white background. Look at this result. We asked for eight logos and we got exactly eight. But don't just look at the spelling, which by the way is eight for eight perfect. Look at the visual reasoning. The model didn't just write the words, it understood the meaning behind them. And check out whip. It was smart enough to replace the letter I with a wire whisk. That is high level conceptual blending. And for pop, it literally used a lollipop and popcorn. Now we're testing if it can actually keep the same person across shots. If you're a storyteller, you know the pain. You generate a character in shot one, but in shot two, she looks like her cousin. It ruins the immersion. So I am taking this first frame, our hero shot, and dropping it into the image reference slot. I am pasting this prompt to place the girl in an old library, and let's see. Okay, look at this result. This is impressive. Look at the dress. It preserved that specific floral texture from the original. Now let's instruct it to create an extreme close-up. For this, you can use this instruct tab inside Higgsfield and modify any generated image into a new one. And flawless. Look at the eyes. Look at the skin texture. It captures the golden hour lighting perfectly, but the facial structure hasn't morphed. If you're making a comic book or a storyboard, this consistency is what allows you to actually build a cast of characters. Now we will test multi-subject consistency. According to the documentation, Nano Banana Pro can maintain the fidelity of up to five characters in a single workflow. So I generated a full RPG party, a warrior, an archer, an elder mage, an assassin, and a healer. Five completely different archetypes. I'm loading all five of them into the reference slots. I'm not giving it a complex description of who is standing where. I'm just asking for a cinematic movie poster titled The Shadow Accord. Unbelievable. Look at this lineup. It didn't mash them into a generic crowd. The warrior in the center still has his specific leather armor and beard. The elder kept his glowing pendant and staff. The assassin state masked. The reality is this tool has so many use cases. And the only way to find the ones that fit your specific workflow is to get in there and break it yourself. You need to test it, iterate, and experiment without worrying about burning credits. For those of you who will buy through Monday 24th and November, they are offering a 60% discount for one year of unlimited Nato Banana Pro generations and to all other image models. 
I've dropped the link right at the top of the description. Do not wait until Tuesday and pay full price. Go grab the deal, start creating, and tag me what you make. I'll see you in the next one.